Welcome back to Mona's Take. Here we're going to talk about everything reality TV. There are spoilers in here, so if you do not want to know what's going on inside the Big Brother house right now, I suggest you wait to watch the video until after Friday night's episode. The house has exploded. Tempers are on the rise. There are fights breaking out. Arguments breaking out. But we're going to get to that here in a little bit. I'm going to start with last night. After I made the video, I watched a little bit more. And Chris and Misha were talking. And Misha is willing to put up Todd if Carson or Cynthia come down, as long as she has Chris's word that he won't vote him out. Chris says everything except for giving her his word. He's like, I'm on your team. Um, you know, I got you back. But he wouldn't come right out and say that he wasn't going to vote Todd out. So it made her feel very uncomfortable. And in that conversation, Chris tells Misha, if you're the one throwing everybody out and Todrick's the one that's consoling them as they go out the door, who do you think they're going to vote for? And that's a very good point. She's getting all the blood on her hands. She's doing all the work. And Todrick is consoling everyone. So he's trying to point out to Misha that if it's you and Todrick, you're not going to win. Todrick's going to win. But I don't think she picked up on that. Chris Kadan. He, there was speculation that he left the game. Last night I was really watching for a shot of the memory wall, and on the memory wall, his photo is black and white. So he is out of the game. He is no longer in the house. I don't know how they're going to spend this on Friday night and what's going to happen, but he, he's out. It seems as Chris Kirkpatrick is willing to change sides. He's willing to work with Carson and Cynthia and Shayna and Lamar. Lamar's actually starting to play the game. He, he's, but he's very loud about it. So anything he's thinking, everybody in the house knows. Because it doesn't matter which room of the house he's in. If he's speaking, you can hear him throughout the whole house. Todrick tells Todd that if Cynthia or Carson come off the block, that he's possibly going to be the replacement nominee. He's not too happy about that. He's like, we need to put up Chris Kirkpatrick. And Todrick's like, I know, but I'm not the one doing it. Misha is, so we've got to talk to her. Well, let's get her up here right now. Let's talk to her right now. Todd's willing right then. And Todrick's like, no, just wait. He said, that's why I'm, I'm telling you this, because we need to get Shayna convinced not to use it, to leave the nominations as they are. Todrick is talking to Misha, and he makes the statement that it might not be a, a bad thing to get Cynthia out because she is impressionable. She's easily swayed. She's easily led. Evidently, he don't know the Cynthia Bailey we do. Because there is nothing impressionable about Cynthia Bailey. She speaks her mind. She takes care of her business. And that's that. Misha and Todd talk about putting Chris up if one of the nominations come down. And I, I don't even know where Todrick's at. He flips at the drop of a hat. And I don't mean Flip's alliances because we know he did go to the other side. That was better for his game. I respect the gameplay. But for a week and a half, well, all we've heard is how Carson's coming after him. Carson's coming after him. And now he's up in the HOH room telling Misha that they should take Carson down and make a deal with Carson because he knows Carson's not coming for him and Chris Kirkpatrick is. I don't know. He said something about getting Lamar out because Lamar doesn't want to play the game. He talks about getting Cynthia out because Cynthia is impersonable and easily swayed. He's talked about getting Shanna out or Shana out because she knows the game and she's playing the game. The only people that I haven't heard him say anything about getting out is Todd at this point and Misha. Everybody else he's talked about getting them out and the reasons why. So I really don't know what goes on in his head, but the man never takes a breath. He had literally talked last night for 45 minutes to Misha. And Misha did not get one word in. Just telling her how the game is, telling her who they need to get out, why they need to get them out, what people in the house are saying about him, how they're portraying him. It's just exhausting. He is a lot. He is a lot. And it seems as if Misha's letting him have the HOH room for the night. 
Todd moved out of the cuckoo room and moved into the hallway room and I'm sleeping next to Todrick. And Todd is still snoring like a freight train, so I'm sure he, she's probably just letting him get a good night's sleep. Let's hope. Misha tells Todd and Chris that she's tired of being in the middle of them, that they are grown-ass men, and that they need to sit down and work out whatever their problems are between each other. And she's kind of playing moderator because she needs both of them. And if they're going after each other, that's not doing her any good. She just tells him, you need to sit down and have a conversation with Chris like a grown-ass man and tell him what you're feeling, tell him what you're thinking, because I think a lot of this is misunderstanding. Now, whether Todd Dick does that or not, I don't know. But that was about the time everybody went to bed. They went to bed pretty early. Well, early, I guess, for California time. They're probably about midnight. Everybody was in bed and asleep. And then this morning, I get up and I turn the feeds on and everybody's sleeping. Um, they got up and got around probably about 10 o'clock. Misha and Todrick wake up talking game. Like, she literally gets out of bed, goes up to the HOH room, and her and Todrick start talking game. What's going to happen with the veto? What they can do? Why this is this way? Why that's that way? It's like, you guys haven't even had your first cup of coffee. And they're up talking game. I almost feel like Misha's getting annoyed with Todrick because he just keeps going on and on and on and on. Like I said, he never shuts up. I think she's getting annoyed with the situation between him and Chris. We'll see where that leads. Shayna wakes up. She's still in her robe. She gets her cup of coffee, and as soon as she does, she's summoned to the HOH room. Misha wants to talk with her and find out what she's going to do. And Shayna tells Misha that she feels it feels like she's on an island, that she doesn't have anybody, that Chris is loyal to her, that Todrick's loyal to her, that Todd's loyal to her, that Lamar's loyal to her, and she doesn't feel like she has anyone. That Cynthia has, um, that Cynthia has Carson and Todd and Lamar have each other, and she doesn't feel like she really has anyone. So she's wanting to make a deal. So she asked Misha, she said, I know you can't compete in this coming up HOH, but you can the following one. And if you win the following one, will you promise not to put me up on the block? Misha tells her flat out, I, I don't think I can do that. Because there's only five people to choose from at that point, And three out of the five are on her team. So she can, can't very well make that promise. So Shane is trying really hard to, be, to have Todd as the one as the replacement that Misha's going to put up. Because whoever she pulls down, she's afraid that Chris Kirkpatrick's going to go up. That's her number one guy. She doesn't want that. So she's trying to make deals. And I'm worried that she may sway and, and not go through with the plan that is to take Carson off the block. To put someone else up that Miss Cynthia can beat as far as votes and vote them out. And leave Cynthia Carson, Shayna, and Chris, and Lamar to work together. We'll see if that works out for them. I don't think it's going to, but we'll see. And then Misha starts talking deals again and asks Shayna if they could make a deal that they wouldn't put each other up until they got down to the final four. Because she knows that if anybody wins in the house right now, she's probably going up on the block. So she's trying to make that deal with Shayna. And Shayna's playing it off. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. That's what I want. You know, we got to get Todd and Chris talking again so that we can solidify this final four, yada, 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 knowing the whole time that she's taking Carson down. And at one point, Misha says, you're not taking Carson down, are you? No, 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 I would never do that. No, I'm voting Carson out, knowing what she was going to do already. And she did it with a straight face. So props to her for playing the game. And what she actually said was, no, not at the moment. So those of us who have been watching live feeds, we know what's coming. So she didn't technically lie to Misha because she told her at the moment she wasn't putting him up or taking him down. So she didn't actually lie. Shayna leaves the HOH room and Misha's talking to herself and she said, I know I'm shooting myself in the foot because I'm being so honest, but I just can't lie. My face can't lie. My body can't lie. I just can't lie. I can't do it. And she said, I'm probably shooting myself in the foot, which she probably is. Which she was a target anyway, so... Just being honest 
I don't think that's going to make her any more of a target than what she already is. Because, honestly, they're not worried about right now. They're worried about her winning all these comps and sending their butts out the door. She tells Todrick that Shayna's not really offering her anything of significance other than making her life a little bit easier today if she doesn't use it. So she couldn't make the deal. And then she turns around and asks Todrick, she said, uh, we need to talk about your niceness. And Todrick said, what are you doing? She's like, why aren't you being nice to them? Why are you being mean to them? And he said, I'm not being mean to them. And she said, you're not talking to them. You're not making eye contact with them. You're not associating with them. You know, we're supposed to be a team. Why are you being ugly to them? And he says, because I'm pissed. I'm pissed that they're coming after me. And I know they're coming after me. And I can't be fake about it. And she said, well, you need to get fake about it. You need to turn it on and start talking to them and fix the situation. Then you have Todrick and Shayna. And they're rehashing the conversation that between Misha and Shayna. Todrick says that Chris is not loyal to him. Um, Shayna tries to tell him, yes, he is. And he's like, girl, don't even you know, try to play me. I know better. I know he's not loyal to me. So why are you going to sit there and say he is? Because he's not. Shayna's asking Todrick who she thinks, who he thinks Misha will put up if she pulls anyone down and Todd's telling her, I don't know. And they're talking about the alliance between Todrick and Shayna and who could beat her. And Todrick said that she's the toughest bitch in the house, which she is. She is the most athletic. She is the person to beat. If they do not get her out of that game, she is going to win that game. Or whoever's sitting second to her, which will probably be Todrick, will win because everybody will be mad at her because she got all the blood on her hands. But she is a comp beast. She does not have a social game. She cannot have a social game. She just doesn't have the personality. And like she said, I can't lie because it's written on my face. I can't act fake. She said, I just can't do it. And so that that's going to come back to bite her. Shana and Todrick have their conversation about what went wrong and why they've been ugly to each other and why they've not been associating with each other and they're going back and forth. And Todrick said, Shana, he went around telling everybody in this house that he was coming for me. You can't sit there and tell me you didn't know he was coming for me and you didn't come tell me. Well, let's see. He knew what Misha's plan was and he didn't go tell Carson and Cynthia. And in the same sense, he knows stuff that Misha's telling him that he ain't going to tell nobody because he's loyal to her. Well, Shayna, loyal to Chris. That's the game. Suck it up, buttercup. So then about that time, the feeds went dead. They were doing the POV meeting. Shayna did take Carson off the block, and it has turned the house upside down. I swear it, like, gave everybody an, a, an arguing gene or something, fighting gene, because they're losing their minds in there right now. Actually, right at this moment, the feeds are off. But we'll get to that. So, it, when it comes back on, it shows Misha, Todrick, and Shayna talking. And Misha and Todrick are pissed that Carson came off the block. And Shayna's like, look, I was on an island. I've got to play my game. This is what's best for my game. I'm sorry if you don't feel that way. And Misha says, well, you know you've just drawn a line in the sand because I don't forgive and I don't forget and I don't go back. And Shayna said, I'm well aware with that. And she said, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the line being drawn. I drew the line. And Misha says, well, if you and Carson and your team think that you can beat me head to head, bring it on. Let's compete because now we're in a competing game. They've always been in a competing game. If you don't compete, you don't win HOH. You don't win anything else. Shayna calls Todrick out and says, I know who you're... Todrick said something about nobody in the house knows where his loyalties lay. And Shayna said, are you kidding me, Todrick? Give me a break. I love you, but everybody in this house knows that you, your loyalty lies with her, period. And Todrick said, yeah, but if she tells me to do something, it's not like I jump and do it. She doesn't control me. I don't control her. He said, I can't do anything to change her mind. She can't do anything to change my mind. We're two separate players, and I'm playing my own game. At that point, Shayna's like, well, if that's the case, if that's actually true, more power to you. Play your game, and I'm going to play mine. Well, about that time, Cynthia comes through there, heading to her room. And Todrick said, Miss Cynthia, can you let me know when you have a minute where we can talk? 
and she says, there's nothing to talk about, period. It is what it is. If I go out, I'm going to go out with dignity. I don't like the way this game is being played. So if I go out, I'm going to go out with my dignity intact, and I am going to be loyal to the people I said I was going to be loyal to, and if that gets my butt kicked out, then so be it. Well, then she goes into the bedroom. Carson follows her into the bedroom and tells Todd it's not a good time. You can tell she's hot. She's heated. Something happened in another room. And so she comes, she goes in her room, and she's in there maybe five or ten seconds. And she comes back, and she slams the door open, and she said, and for another thing, let me tell you, and heads off to the other part of the house. So I go back, and the feed's cut immediately as soon as she did that. So I go back and I watch what was happening in the other part of the, the house while I was watching Shane, Misha, and Todrick. And evidently, Lamar was telling Todd that he couldn't vote Cynthia out, that he had to vote Chris out. And Todd was saying, no, I ain't voting Chris out. She voted for me. I'm going to vote for her. You cut my throat, I'm going to cut your throat back. And he's saying it in the bathroom when him and Lamar are fighting, but they're so loud that everybody in the kitchen can hear everything that they're saying. And so they come out, well, then Todd continues to say it. I'm the type of person, you cut my throat, I'm going to cut your throat. That's just the way it is. I don't forgive, and I don't forget. And that's the street way, and da-da-da-da. Well, then the feeds cut off of that, and they go into the bathroom, and Shana and Chris are in the bathroom talking. And all of a sudden, the fight breaks out. The cameras never went to it. The cameras stayed on Misha and Shana. But you could hear what they were saying. So, they're fighting. Um, and by they, I mean Cynthia and Todd. And you can hear them. You can't see anything, but you can hear them. And they're saying, F you, no F you, no F you. And they're going back. And I mean, they're screaming. And then the feeds go off, and they've been off ever since. They did come back on briefly. And it showed Cynthia in her room saying, you know, talking about what happened. And saying that she wasn't going to play that kind of game. That she, you know, she did what she needed to do for her own dignity. She made a promise and she kept that promise and that's what it is. But then she starts, she's crying. She's, and if you've watched Cynthia Bailey enough to know that if she's crying, it's usually because she's not sad, it's because she's mad. I'm the same way. Get me mad. If I start crying, you better get the hell away from me. And basically, that's what she's telling them. You keep Todd away from me. I don't want him anywhere around me. And then she says, and then he's going to step up on me in my face? Like, what are you going to do, fight me? And Carson says, yeah, that was just wrong the way he stepped up on you. But Lamar was taking care of you, and I was having to, I thought I was going to have to get my spatula out. Ew. And then the feet's cut. So, not only do we have Chris Catan out of the house because he left and he's self-evicted, but if they find or they think that Todd Bridges is going to in any way be violent, they're going to pull him out of that house. I don't think he's going to be violent. I think he just got mad and I think he uses his words, but I don't think he would ever physically touch anybody. But when you step up on a woman in their face like a grown man, you know, you just don't do that. So I'll see what happens when the feeds come back on, but I wanted to get this video out and let you guys know what was going on. It is getting crazy in there. And Shayna just drew a line in the sand and said, this is where I stand. So we will see what happens. As always, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I have coming up. I am going to do another video tonight after the live feeds because I'm sure this is not the end of it. There's probably going to be more here in a little while. But there was so much content, I didn't want to miss it. So, you guys have a good night. I will see you on the next video. And as always, much love.